Missionary Baptist Church located here in Tuskegee, Alabama. If you are joining us via, via Facebook Live or YouTube um, later on today, we welcome you and we greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are already just praising God here at Daniel, just talking about the goodness of the Lord and just Amen. how great it is once again to be in the land of the living on this first day of the new year, 2023. As Pastor Keith has already discussed in our Sunday school earlier this morning, we pray that this year will be a year of provoking. A year that will provoke you to go deeper in your walk with Christ. A year that will provoke you to increase in your prayer life. And a year to provoke you to be the Christian that God wants you to be. We are all on assignment. Your assignment is not going to look like my assignment, no. but I pray that you seek the heart of God and that you do and be all that God wants you to be yes. in 2023. Can we bless the Lord this morning? <laughs> On this first day, can we give God the biggest praise? of that big picture. We are picking up where the disciples and the apostles that's all they had. We are those that are picking up. Uh -huh. So we want to run the journey well. Yeah. We yeah. do. Yeah. We do. Before we enter into prayer, we want to acknowledge and just thank God for those that will be celebrating birthdays in January. We have Brother Thomas Courtney Wilson that will be celebrating her birthday on the 4th. Our very own sister Louise Knowles will be celebrating her birthday on the 6th. Our very own sister Belinda Thompson and sister Perry Lee B. Smith will be celebrating birthdays on the 12th. Um, sister Mary Torrell on the 14th. Rayshawn Osborne on the 18th. Brother Anthony Thomas Jr. on the 23rd, um, Cole Alexander Thomas on the 24th, and Sister Sandra Hall will be celebrating her birthday on the 31st. We just speak a blessing over all those that will be having birthdays in January. We pray that the Lord will bless you and keep you, and that you will have more blessed birthdays to come. For our prayer request, we received a prayer request um, from um, Lima Peru. Um, it is from um, one of our friends out there, and she is asking us to pray. Okay. Her name is Lara, um, all the way from Lima, Peru. She is asking us, and you that are viewing as well, if you will join us in prayer. She's asking for prayer for her family. This is what she wrote. She says, hello, my family. I was hesitant to write today that it is the new year, but I need it because we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Mm -hmm. My daughter, Estefana, contracted the COVID again, as did her husband and Alessandro mm -hmm. had mild pneumonia. Alessandro was her, her um, grandson. And that is why they were tested. And his test also came out positive. He has vasculitis, an inflammation of the blood vessels mm -hmm. that causes changes in the arterial walls of more than 10,000 people. They only give five. They will continue to carry out more tests and a biopsy on his legs when it is inflamed. I feel that I have no floor, that my mind is in the desert, that we only look at each other with a Vico and we don't know if we were prepared for what may come. She's praying that God supports her and she said it's very clear to her that the storm would pass well, but now she feels sad, anxious. I ask that you pray that God heals my daughter and that we continue to see the glory of God. I believe in Jesus Christ, who is a healer of all illnesses, who is in control of everything. Mm -hmm. That I come on the path and I will follow him. No, it's, no, it's um, not easy. Um, she was saying, thanks for meeting you. Um, God bless you. Lara. Um, for those of you who may not know, um, Pastor Keith, as well as Daniel Missionary Baptist Church, we are, we are partners with a uh, ministry um, over in Lima, Peru. 
and Laara, she is the, um, she's director over the home that houses women and children, um, women that are escaping situations, very inhumane situations, and that place is a safe house for them and their children, and she's the director at that home. But she's asking us to pray for her daughter, her daughter's husband, and her grandchild. As they're going through a very trying time medically in their lives. Also, um, as we enter into prayer, we want to continue to pray for um, those who desire to be in the house of the Lord who can't for various um, reasons, whether it be sickness or illness or whatever the situations may be. And we always want to pray for the lost. Like I said, this is the season that we want to pray that God touch those. And that be an outpouring of people who want to be saved. That's the only reason why we exist. Amen. I'm serious. If we are coming to church and we're being equipped for all these years and we don't want to see souls saved, I would say, let's just close the door and forget it. Amen. I, 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 this year I got time. All right. We, we don't have time. If we're just going to come and gather and we're not going to strategically put things in place for the harvest of souls, What's the purpose? Amen. All right. What's the Amen. purpose? So I, I pray this year that God so speak upon our hearts that he give us clear marching orders. And I'm just going to go into prayer now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we cry out on behalf of every prayer request that we have received. Oh God, we just come boldly before your throne of grace and mercy because we know, Father God, that it's in you that we live and we move and we have our being. We know, Lord God, that it's in you, Lord God, that we can do all things through Christ Jesus who gives us strength. Yes. Father God, forgive us, Lord God, for anything that we may have said or done, Lord God, that was against your will. Mm -hmm. 2022 is in the past. We are now walking in um, 2023. And Father God, we want to do and be all that you want us to be. We don't want to waste time. Lord God, in 2023, doing things that you have not ordained, things that you have not, God, breathed, things that you have not desired for us to do, even when we gather together. So, Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus, as we lift up these prayer requests, that you would heal Laura's children, Lord God, over in Lima, Peru. Oh, Father God, I pray, Lord God, that you will raise them up off of their bed of affliction. Father God, not just them, but all those that may be in that hospital. Oh God, I pray that you will go into every room. And by your anointing, Father God, you will heal their bodies. And Father, let them know that it was not by Melissa, but it was by you, Father God. So Father, I pray that when you raise them up, that they will give you all the praise and all the glory. I pray they will go forth, Lord God, and declare your word, Lord God, in Lima, Peru. I pray, Father God, they will go forth, Lord God, and even go pray for other sick people, Lord God, and share and declare the goodness of what you have done in their lives, Father yes. God. Yes. Father God, we pray, Father God, for those that may be sick, Lord God, and shut in here in Tuskegee, mm -hmm. in Lee County, Lord God, and all the surrounding cities. Yes. Father, we pray, Lord God, you will touch their bodies, yes. that they too, Lord God, will be risen up off their beds, and they will go forth, Lord God, and declare your goodness in the earth, that people will see your good works, and that they will be drawn unto you, and that they will give you praise, honor, and glory. And other people, Father God, will want to know about you. Father God, we pray, Father God, for a uh, harvest of souls this year. I pray, Father God, that you will speak, Lord God, to your leaders, Lord God. Speak to your pastors, Lord God. Speak to those, Lord God, that are, are giving ministry oversight, Lord God. Those that might have nonprofits. Father, I pray that you will give them um, visions and dreams and insight how you want Joshua to teach it to go forth in the earth, Lord God, to witness. Lord God, to witness, Father God, that you be lifted up mm -hmm. in all that we say and do, that you be lifted up, God, and that you will draw men unto you. Yeah. Father God, even in the songs that we sing, in the words that we speak, in, may you be glorified, God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. May you get the glory. Mm -hmm. Father, even today in this service, God, we ask that you are apprehended. Father God, we pray, Lord God, that only what you desire will go for. Mm -hmm. Father, even in the preached word, we thank you that you already blessed it, that it's going to go forth, that it's going to fall on good ground. 
We just come against every demonic hindrance. We come against every demonic force, every demonic influence that will try to hinder your word from going forth on today. Father God, we come against every demonic hindrance on the hearers that's trying to cause them not to hear your word. Father God, we pray now that those things will be shattered, broken, and destroyed now. We thank you that your people will be alert and attentive. We thank you. Father God, that anything was, that they were trying to distract them or hinder them would be broken and destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, we thank you, Father God, that your word will go forth without any hindrances or any complications now in the name of Jesus. So we thank you now that your word is going to fall on good ground, that your word is going to fall, Lord God, and people are going to grasp it, and they're going to go forth, Lord God, and not allow the enemy to choke it or kill it. In Jesus' We pray. Amen. 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 At this time, we we'll have songs of praise for the choir. Amen.
praise him, praise him, praise him. Amen. 
We just thank God for this beautiful day, this sunshine. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been having some bad weather the last couple of weeks. All right. All right. But God is still good. All the time. All the time. While you're turning there, uh, we, we know that we did not have regular service here last week on Christmas. We as a ministry, as a body, we partnered with Destiny to Change Ministry with uh, Pastor Ralph Gandy. Uh, him and his ministry out in the square on last Sunday on Christmas. Had hey. service out there. And because of the seed that this church song and other churches and our time, we were able to be a blessing to the community, to children in the community. I have pictures that we're going to get put up on the website, but it just filled my heart to see children being blessed. All right. And it was cold. Yeah, well. I'm glad y'all didn't show about that. I went out there, we represented Daniel. I had to make my wife stay home with the kids. We got some kids with asthma that cannot be in that cold weather. Amen. Mother and all come out to no mother. Now you stay at home. Get out of this cold weather. But we have an awesome time. God really bless you. Really just showed out here. It's not often times. And you know, uh, I, he, didn't even, he didn't even call out the church name. It was just being an ambassador for Christ. Amen. So those children, those families could be blessed mm -hmm. during that time, during that season. Amen. Amen. So God showed up and showed out. All right. Amen. All right. First Peter chapter 4, verse 1 says, Therefore, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself also with the same mind, for he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh for the lust of men, but the will of God. Hang on to that. Mm -hmm. No longer should we lust out of the flesh for the lust of for men, but for the will of God. Verse 3 says, for we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the will of the Gentiles, in the will of men. When we walk in lewdness, lust, drunkenness, robberies, uh, drinking parties, and abominable adulteries. In regard to these, they think it strange that you do not run with them in the same flood of dispensation, mm -hmm. speaking evil of you. They will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this reason, glory to God, the gospel was preached also to those who are dead that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The title of today's message is, Hallelujah, Amen, The Reason the Gospel Was Preached. All right. The Reason that the Gospel Was Preached. Mm -hmm. We just said a little bit ago, the church exists. God's children exist. Who is God's children? Who is the church? People that God created that has accepted Christ as the Lord and Savior. Believe that he died for them. And that God raised him up on the third day that they may be saved. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And what the saving means that you have a temple. When you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart the Lord Jesus and believe that God raised him from the dead, that guarantees you your eternal life in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Your eternal life, not your life here on this earth, because once you give your life to Jesus, this earth becomes temporary. Amen. Amen. Come on now, somebody. Amen. I just said the Bible said, go back and read Romans chapter 10, verse 9. Those that call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. But you have to call out in faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yes, it is. And see, God did not create us. He did not send his son to Jesus just to save us, just to give us a get out of hell free card. No, no. But he gave us life eternal so we can do the works of Christ, what Christ does all, that we, the church, pick up. What the apostles left off and asked, we, the church, pick up. Uh -huh. This text is saying that Christ suffered for us in the flesh. He's telling us to arm ourselves, the church, also with the same mind. Amen. Christ did not come on the earth to try to make himself famous. Uh -uh. 
He did not come on the earth to try to uh, hoard up everything that he can. Christ came on the earth to do the will of the Father that sent him. So that should be our same mind. It says right here, we should have the same mind that God created us for a time such as this, that we can have the same mind of Christ to do the will of our Father. Amen. What does that mean? That means we need to read our Bible to know what the will is. Mm -hmm. We need to continuously be in prayer with our Father. Jesus, oftentimes, he went alone into a mountain. Sometimes he said he prayed all night. He prayed all night with the Father so the Father can empower him to show him what it needs to be done. Mm -hmm. The Bible said that Jesus only did what he saw the Father do. He only said what he heard the Father say. Amen. So if he heard the Father say it, he knew it was okay to say it. Mm -hmm. We need to have that same mind. We need to hear and know the voice of God so when we speak out into the atmosphere, it is not he that's speaking, but Christ Jesus that is speaking through me and that his will will be done. Amen. That's how the works are going to get done. That's how the foundation of the church is going to get done. That we have the same mind of Christ that we speak forth the will of God. Mm -hmm. God gives us the word to speak so we can edify one another. To build us up in our more holy faith. Mm -hmm. We know that our mouths can be used to bless people and to curse people. Mm -hmm. It ought not to be so. Mm -hmm. We can build up and tear down people at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want my children to know. I bet they feel that I tore them down this morning in Sunday school. But we had a personal conversation in Sunday school. And I was not trying to tear you down. I love y'all so much. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to provoke you. As God provoked me. Mm -hmm. For this 2023 year, He is provoking us. Mm -hmm. He is want us to be persistent in our walk with Him, in our prayer life with Him. Mm -hmm. Be persistent in reading our word. Amen. Amen. I told my children this morning, I said, if this Bible was a roadmap to uh, all the gold in the world or to a big treasure, You'll read it from beginning and one miss a page. You'll use every clue to get to where that uh, treasure is. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But this Bible is the roadmap to the ultimate treasure. And it's Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. The word of God said, with suffering in the flesh, we have ceased from sin. Mm -hmm. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh. We should no longer, when we give our lives to Jesus, and we are being transformed and renewed by the, uh, the Holy Spirit in God's word, we should no longer live after the form of lust. So the form of lust gets in the way of what God wants to do. That's why he said we need to be in the same mind as Jesus, because Jesus did not want to live in the flesh. He only came to live in the spirit by the power of God. But see, when we lust after the things of this world, now we're being poor. We want to be for God on one side, and then we want to be for the world on the other side. Uh -huh. The pastor just don't understand, you know, that these things, I mean, you know, I love doing it. I know you love doing these things. Like but see, God wants us to hate sin. Mm -hmm. He wants us to hate it so bad when we see sin, glory to God, that how he sees it, we will hate it. Because sin separated God from his children. Mm -hmm. In the Garden of Eden, because of sin, it separated Adam and Eve from communing with God. Instead of being loved by God and, and, and experiencing his love, they needed his love when they sinned in the Garden. And God hated it. Mm -hmm. See, God does not hate people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get it twisted. Even, even church folk. I've been there. We, God, did not come to judge. He came to set the captives free. Mm -hmm. He didn't come to call the righteous, but he called to call the unrighteous. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, you know, he came that they that needed a position, they needed. See, but we turn around and sometimes we do things. I'm not talking about the Bible of Christ at large. Sometimes we take what we have learned and we're not saying and doing things out of the spirit of love and then we get in the 
the way of God and we wind up hurting people instead of uh, helping them. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. God wants us this year to be a light. He wants us this year to speak as he speaks. If he tells you to give an encouragement word to somebody, you do it. Amen. Amen. Back this summer, we went to McDonald's on the way to church. And I saw this young lady, uh, she just had a baby with her slight young son. We saw out of this morning. I saw that and I said, boy, but when we got up to the window, it was her and she recognized us. Mm -hmm. She did not recognize who we are, but it was the thing that God allowed to speak into her life during that tragic time. Amen. God would use his word to transform somebody, to build them up in the most holy faith through tragic times. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. When we spoke to her about this summer, she didn't think she was going to make it. But here it is, 20, uh, 23, and she is still standing, giving glory to God, even though she lost her son. Yeah. One word from God would change somebody's life. Yes, it will. So everybody in here has a mouth. Mm -hmm. But see, God wants us to be so in love with him, to be dead to the lust of the flesh, mm -hmm. to do the will of God. Verse 3 says, for we have spent enough of our past life doing the works of the flesh, the Gentile. I ain't got to go through all the names. We know what they are. But God is giving us another chance as the church, as individuals, to get it right. I told my children this morning, I'm just not talking to y'all. I missed the mark too. There's some things that I could have done better if I were listening to God instead of trying to get it done myself. There's some things that seem right to a man, but they may not be right to God. That's why we have to know his will. Amen. Amen. Well, Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Not half, not a fourth. Oh. It says all of your oh. heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. He will direct Amen. your path. He didn't say he might, he said he will. But you have to surrender it to him. You have to seek him first. You have to put it before him. You may be going through some trying times, but if you seek him, you lay those times before him, the thing that you're going through before him, he will direct your path. If you believe it. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to believe. You have to believe. You have to believe. Yeah. Without faith, it is impossible Amen. to please God. He said, we spent enough of our past time. Mm -hmm. See, God, is, he's not trying to beat us over the head. He's not trying to condemn us. He's trying to get a word in edge fire. He's trying to give us an account. He wants us to take inventory of what we've done in our life up until now. Amen. If we've been doing, following the will of God, praise God. Continue to do so. Mm -hmm. But if you have not always been doing the will of God, take account of what you have done. Let him shine a light on it so we can, he can show you Glory to God. Amen. So he can show you what needs to be done, what needs to be changed in your life. Amen. And when he shows it to you, don't fuck up against it. Do what he say do. Amen. It'll make things a lot easier. Sure will. But if you don't pass the test, you're going to have to go through it again. Amen. We know how it is when we take a <laughs> test and we don't make a good grade on it. Now some people that are going to let you fail, you're done with it. But God is not a God. God is a God of second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh chance. As long as we have breath in our bodies, we can always repent according to 1 John 1 and 9. Ask God to forgive us for our sins, and he will forgive us and cleanse us with the blood of Jesus from all unrighteousness that we can go forth and do the will of God. Amen. Now, somebody they look at you and you say, hey, I know what you used to do, what you have done. I don't care That's what you right. think about me. That's as right. long as my father sees yes. who I am. That's Amen. all that I care about. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. God Amen. wants us as the church to be rooted and grounded in him for the gospel's sake. Yeah. Verse 4 says, in regards to these things that you used to do, if something is strange that you do not run with them in the same flood, they speak evil of you now. So mm -hmm. be it. Let them speak evil of you. It's all right. Glory to God. The same one that did a dish for you, they're going to fall into their own dish. Amen. The same one that's speaking evil of you will be the same one that knocked at your door. Amen. I need to know the Jesus that you know. Amen. And then you let them in, and you don't hold a grudge against them, and you share Christ with them. Because it's not about you. It's about him. 
Amen. They lied on corn, Christ when he was on the earth. They beat him, they stoned him, they did the same thing to his apostles. But they counted joy that they suffered for Christ's sake. Yeah. You got to consider some of the things that you're going through for Christ's sake. Yes, you're going through it for his sake. So count it all joy, according to James. It is joy. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Knowing that you're walking in God's will. Yes, you may be suffering for a little while, but you know greater times are coming. Glory to God. The enemy may think he has crushed you. He has you beneath his feet. He's going to destroy you. He just don't know if he destroyed your life on this earth to be absent from the body. Glory mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. Is to be present with the Lord, regardless of you win. Amen. So let your life count. So when you're around people, you know what I mean. Some of y'all know what I mean. When we used to run with the boys, when we used to run with the girls. Come on now. When we used to, we used to do drink, smoke, whatever we used to do. It may not be no thing, but y'all know when we were living out having fun, doing what we want to do, and God was nowhere in it. Mm -hmm. no. But when you give your life to Jesus, when you start walking for Christ, when you say, look, you know what, God? I'm walking away from this. I want to walk for you. Those same Amen. people, they're going to start falling away. They're going to start saying things Amen. about you. But you don't let that get in your heart. Mm -hmm. You let God deal with that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 There's 150,000 people dying every hour. People are dying. And it's a tragedy that they're dying without Christ. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's alive on this earth does not know Christ. So it should, it's a tragedy when it speak, we should see it as a tragedy as a church when somebody lose their life and don't know Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because we know where their eternity lies. Amen. That's why it is important. That's why the last part of this scripture says, Hallelujah. This reason, verse 6, for this reason, the gospel was preached. Also to those who dead who are dead, and that those might be judged according to men in the flesh, but alive according to God in the spirit. Yeah. I said this morning, Sunday school, and in our testimony time. This word is Jesus. Amen. God Amen. took this word and made a body that came down to this earth. Mm -hmm. He came down to the home mm -hmm. full of grace. Didn't look like the very best. He didn't come with a, a purple or a kingly apparel. He came and walked with sinners. Mm -hmm. He ate with sinners. Mm -hmm. Why? Because yep. he loved and he had compassion. Yep. He loved us all. He knew the religious leaders of that time knew the law backwards and forward. But they did not care about those people eternal salvation. No. Because they were nowhere near it. But Jesus, as we said, came down here as a man, full of God, to do God's will. He came on this earth to set us free from the law of sin and death. He came on this earth to redeem us back to our father, our rightful place with our father. Yeah. He came on this earth to die. On that Friday night, Jesus was led up Calvary's mouth. Mm -hmm. He was lied on, he yeah. was spit on, uh -huh. he was brutally beaten beyond recognition. His own mother could not recognize his face. Yeah. Well, Isaiah said he was marred. Marred means unrecognizable. Uh -huh. uh, they didn't know who he was. They couldn't see his face was disfigured. Uh -huh. He had to carry his own cross of a heel. Yeah. A man who knew no sin Amen. took the sins of the world, took my sin and your sin yes, sure. and attached it to his body. Yeah. You heard me say it before. His body was like a magnet uh -huh. that attracted every sickness, every disease, uh -huh. every sin that we could imagine and it was nailed on Calvary's cross. Yeah. When God nailed it on that, he nailed it good. Yeah. Every sin, the weight of sin, mm -hmm. was attached to Christ's body. Yeah. But he didn't want not one word against the ones that were doing it. Amen. They nailed his spirit, yeah. and he died. 
Yeah. They took him off that cross when he died. They put him in a they are borrowed tomb. Yeah. We know when something's borrowed, you gotta get it back. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. right. Because on that third day, yeah. God promised that he would raise Jesus up. Yeah. And he did just that with all the power yeah. in yeah. his hand yeah. to destroy yeah. the works of the devil. God raised him up, and now he is sitting on the right hand side of the Father. Right now, mm -hmm. over 2,000 years ago, still interceding on our behalf. Yeah. Father, I know what these children are going through. I know what they're going through. Mm -hmm. I've experienced what they're going through. Have mercy mm -hmm. and compassion mm -hmm. on them. Mm -hmm. Draw them, Father, to you, O God. Yeah. I died for them that they can be brought back to you, Father. Mm -hmm. Their lives are worth it. Yeah. And God remembers the promise that he made. Yeah. So those that call upon the name of the Lord Jesus, the Bible said you will be saved. You can't write a check for it. The check was already written in the blood of Jesus. You, don't know. you can't look no. for it. Mm -mm. It's already been done in the mm -hmm. blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You can't dance for it. It's already been done. Yep. You can't cry for it. It's already been done through the blood of Jesus. All you got to do is believe it and accept it in your heart and go on to God. Amen. God said, forget the former lust of your life. Let's pick up the cross of Christ this year, 2023, and let's do the work and the will of God that other people may know you. Yep. Not to know key. Not to know that missionary about this church, but that they will know the Christ through us. Amen. That they may be saved. Amen. That is our marching for us for 2023. That we persistent call upon the name of the Lord Jesus in prayer. That we consistently read his word. Amen. That we consistently walk as a light in the midst of darkness. Yeah. Sometimes we don't want to go in the midst of darkness, but we get afraid. Mm -hmm. But if we don't go there, just like the uh, Pharisee told you, why did your master told the disciples, why did your master see what it was sinners and tax collectors? Well, who else is going to do this? But he has called us to go into places that nobody else wants to go into. But you should be led by him now. It's a difference. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a difference. Oh, yeah. That's why you have to know the will of God for your life. You got to have a relationship with him. I'm not. Yeah. So you will know where he's directing you to go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. Glory to God. He will direct your path. Let's give God the biggest praise that we can give it to
innocent Savior. Yes, we do. I don't say that lightly. It's the honest to God truth. You just believe in me and take care of you. <laughs> you just take care of you, Jesus. He'll take care of you. If you just only believe in me. I know he I got to believe I know he will. Amen. 